this beat in my dream. What I love about volleyball is the feeling that I get when I get on the court. It's like my safe place, you know, I can go there and have a lot on my mind and then when I step out on the court, all my worries go away. If I'm mad, I can take it out on the ball and I don't know, I just love volleyball and it's been a blessing to really learn all different life lessons with doing something that I absolutely love and enjoy. Hi, I'm Campbell Bowden. I'm a junior and I play volleyball at Coronado High School. My earliest memories of sports would have to be I played in a basketball league when I was starting in like kindergarten. It was called Upward. My background in basketball kind of, you know, kind of led her to um, naturally to go towards basketball at first and fourth grade she could shoot like crazy. She's right-handed but she's always been able to dribble with the right hand or left hand and taught herself that at a really young age and she loved basketball. As she got going she played basketball and volleyball together for about two seasons. When I was playing both sports both school and club there was one point in my life where I just had to decide what I wanted to do because I was just really exhausted and both of them were not being enjoyable anymore. She didn't want to disappoint us, but uh, we told her whatever you want to do, whatever you're passionate about, that's what we want you to do. They knew that the best decision was for me to pick one. At that time, I was just enjoying volleyball way more. I knew that that was what I wanted to pursue. When Campbell came in and uh, she started on her JV team and uh, very quickly, you know, we, we decided to move her, move her up, took her to a varsity tournament, out of town in Plano, Texas. I didn't get to play at all in the, in the big tournaments and I was really glad I didn't get to play because I was so nervous. But the last game of the last out of town tournament before season, um, one of the girls got hurt. And so he put me in and I was shaking. I was so nervous, but when I stepped out on the court, it kind of all went away. She played very, very well. And, uh, and uh, she proved herself that she could stay calm at the varsity level. Uh, being a freshman, that says a lot. She know how to use a torso and show the rotation, and she transferred her weight onto the ball. So her ball is really heavy, and her timing, she delays her arm swings. So it's really difficult for the blockers to block her hit. I guess it's like we see football players sometimes off the, the field, they're the nicest, greatest kids on the football field. They're just animals and beasts, and I think he does that. I saw her play a couple of volleyball games, and she just transforms into a super athlete. Last year, she was the most valuable player in the city as a sophomore, and I think that was the first time that anyone in El Paso has been awarded that. She's got the best defensive player of the year last year in 6A. She got the most valuable um, hitter award last year at Coronado. She's gonna have the opportunity to go to Japan this summer and train with the Japanese national team. I can't even remember everything that she's gotten. She went to the Baylor camp this summer and um, she went from basically they didn't know who she was till at the end of the camp they said that they wanted to try to get her as part of their program. To be a student athlete in today's world, it takes a lot. It takes a tremendous amount of focus, energy, uh, certainly an eight class load a day makes it very difficult as well as working as a volleyball player uh, and competing at the highest levels of 6A. School is very, very important. Academics are very, very important to Campbell. First of all, um, she's a special type of kid because she sits in the front role the first day, never said a word, and then I find out that she's one of the best volleyball players in El Paso. And I wouldn't know that or nobody would because she is very humble, very respectful, and um, very courteous young lady. I would describe Ms. Bowden as a hard worker. She's always a joy to be around. She doesn't hesitate to ask any questions. Uh, most of the time, she doesn't ask any questions because she gets great grades in my classes, always A's. We've always told her, you know what, we don't care what grade you get. 
just as long as you tried your hardest. We're doing a boat construction activity uh, based on buoyancy. We had to test um, all different kinds of formulas to how to make a boat float out of cardboard. This makes it more enjoyable, especially for us teachers, letting them see that smile on their faces and they're actually applying the, the formulas that we teach them in class and applying it to their boat construction activity here. Up next, Bowden, left lane versus Silva, right lane. Go! Go, 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 go! She is such an inspiration to my husband and I. She's so, uh, she always looks for the good in the people. And she always finds it. Not only does she look for it, she always finds it. And just being around her, she's just a joy to be around. That was pretty cool, right? Okay, we're gonna go do this again. Let's go, Maddie. Some of my most proud medals and awards, I'd have to say, in middle school, um, I had this family, and um, they had they have a, a boy that's younger than me. He's one year younger than me. And then they had a little boy. He was two. And he, on Mother's Day, he drowned. And so um, they started the Bailey Fincher Foundation. Um, I was in the third grade, and I don't know, like I cried every day for like a month because it just really hit me hard, and I didn't even know this little boy. Campbell received an award at our school where she was recognized as like the top athlete. It was called the Bailey Fincher Scholarship. And so she received a scholarship for going into her eighth grade year, basically for Bailey. That was one of the most proud moments that I think I've ever felt, just because so I could honor Bailey, the little boy, and then honor God. Right before her eighth grade year, she told me that she wanted to do something to give back to younger kids. And she said, Dad, do you know anybody or can we do anything? I'd like to run a, like a little sports camp. There was a community called the Chihuahuita Center community, which is right next to the border. Um, probably, you know, way, way, way below the poverty level. Okay. So we went down there and it was just, I don't know, it was just an awesome little place. And it was my dream to run a sports camp with little kids. I thought, well, we can play sports for part of the time and then also give like a life talk of the other half of the time. Hey, if I make this, you guys have to run two laps around the whole thing. You know, these little kids sometimes are told that they can't do anything or they can't, they won't become anything or achieve anything. And I wanted to, show them that yes you can no matter where you come from or no matter what part of the country or world that you come from you can always achieve something as long as you set your mind to it and work hard and do good in school and just have a good mindset and a positive mind <laughs> Um, these kids, their grades, they went from, you know, not passing to getting A, B, honor roll or A, honor roll and kids playing sports for their school. And so when we go down there and we see them and they'll come and tell us like, oh, I made the volleyball team and I made the A, B, honor roll and I passed my star test. And she just taught them that they can basically do anything they want to do and that they're valued. We're very proud of her that she's like that, that she helps other people find their joy. She has a purpose in her life, as well as a passion. And it comes from um, God. My husband and I are very proud of Campbell for receiving the Max Prep Award. Anything national coming out of El Paso is, is really different. You know, kids just don't get recognized. And so for Campbell to get recognized as a National Athlete of the Month for Max Preps was just a huge, huge blessing in our lives. I'm just super blessed because um, it's a really big honor to get this award and I just am very thankful for it. It's just been a great journey and um, I'm excited to keep working hard and see what else there's in store for me.